Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're here in Franklin's Parker Preserve. We're about to go do a little jogging today. Got to exercise first. Get these legs stretched out. Cause these joints feeling a little tight from the last jog and the last hike I just got into. But let's get our legs shaped up, ready for this hike. So start stretching and get into shape. So guys, we're just walking to the beginning where we're gonna start jogging at. And um, this is the beginning here. This is the car just behind us, the park a lot. And we just getting this thing started, following these little red markings. We're just gonna do a little power walking right now. I'm about to switch over to the um, GoPro head mount. And um, so far, it's a beautiful little scene here, all palm trees. So just over here, some red markings, just following them. Kinda looks like that would've been a trail over there, but that's probably could be for like the hunters, cause this is the hunting area also. But I got a nice little bright yellow hoodie on. It ain't orange, but hopefully we can still get seen. And now we're walking on sand here. And I'm about to start getting this little jog started. Let's do it. Thousand miles away from the nearest city There's no light, it's all dark But no matter what, you choose to stay here with us So I say run I run so we can get lost together Run oh, The moonlight's leading us back where we belong guys we right here just on the side here just checking out this little pond and the red truck continues on over there but i want to take a little closer look at this water here oh try not to fall in because this thing is dark and i don't even know how deep it is because it looks very deep but yeah, let's take a look over here it's like a whole little wooden pad i don't know what that is right there it's like a little pier type of thing But it is like another trail. You found a stone? Let's see. Should just find this cool little stone here. Whew. Cool little marble stone. Throw it back down there. I'm just gonna look at this little pond over here at this corner. Let's join this view right here. Before we continue on with the rest of this um, red mark and just on the other side there. Just taking a look at this. Looks like it was a path or something up here. You kind of see something like a path right here. I'm not too sure where it leads to, but I'm just gonna walk it up a little bit. So it's coming up to like another opening right here. Not too sure what this is right here. This is a dead end on this side, but it continues on over there. Um, we're not gonna go towards that way. We're just gonna go back over here, get back onto the red path up here. And just want to see what was in this corner. 
can see nothing else. Let's head back onto the ray pad. Just gotta cross back over that little creek there. So I'm back here where this creek at and just gotta jump over. Make sure you don't fall in there. It's too cold to get your feet wet. Oh, I'm okay. just walking back up to the um, right pass here. We just can't got done doing this little trail over there, and now we're going down. It's the rain markings right there. Another one, and now uh, start jogging again. Came up to some abandoned railroad tracks here. Um, nature just took over this thing. Just look at this. I'm gonna try and see on one of these tracks, see if we can see any dates or stuff carved on the side of them. But we gotta continue on with the red markings over there. I'm trying to see if I can see any dates of this rail line here. Somewhere, gotta be something on these tracks here. So I couldn't find no date on this little railroad here. But it just stops right here. This is the dead end of the tracks. Nice little view over there. And um, we just gotta start heading back. I see some metal old rusty remains and stuff over there, like a fence on the other side. You can see that it kind of tracks, it continues on, but it's buried under there. I need the dirt on the other side of that mountain. But now we gotta take, keep going back over here, continue on going back. You can see nature took over his track. When nature wants something, it comes gets it again. But I'm still here trying to see if I can find any date. I see like these little numbers. Oh, I found a date right here. Um, it says 1913. So 1913, this rail line was put here. Well, these tracks was actually made. I'm not too sure that it was put here in that age, but it was made. And uh, just when I was about to give up, on the ages, finding the ages on these tracks here, I actually just found them out of nowhere. Just popped up. <laughs> it's crazy, but we're heading back over here, continue on with our little jog. And um, let's get back to this very markings. It's definitely cool just walking through this once was a train line. Now it's Mother Nature again. You can see like molding and stuff just growing right on top of the um, tracks here. So all these like green mold. That's how old these trains haven't been ran for. So right here we get back onto the red markings. Train tracks is just right there. We're on the other side now. Continuing this thing on. Banging this thing out. Finishing off this loop here. It's a four and a half mile loop. And uh, we still got uh, quite a while to go. So let's keep going.
just next to these red markings. Right into some old remains here. Not too sure if I'm with this one, but definitely looks old. There's another one that's over here. Let's see if we can get over here. But you can still see the metal door. With something here because you can see a door just over here there's some more remains this probably would have like a truck or something would have came in like a little dock it's like a factory or something back over here let's get back over here and let's get back onto the red um trail up here so we just got done checking out the remains that was there i'm not too sure what that was but that was right on the side of the little red markings and um, we just can continue on, continue on with our jog and um, see what else is out here because we still got like halfway to go. We halfway around this um, loop here and um, let's continue this ha another half to go. So let's go. Look at these cool big chairs. This is good for a nice little break. <sighs> the trail continues on over there. But we taking a break on these big, nice wooden chairs. <sighs> Cause these it's every right about now. <sighs> ah, I just slid all the way down. <laughs> this thing is crazy. Yeah. You get a nice view from here though. I'll tell you that. Whew. 
get these break, get these feet a break huh, before we continue on. So guys, we just got done checking out these cool little wooden chairs up there. And now we just continuing on back up here to the pass. So let's go. Let's continue on with the job. Be coming up to this thing here. And I don't know how we're gonna get to the other side. We gotta find a way without getting our feet wet. And I'm um, gonna see if we can do that. So, let's make it over without falling into this little creek here, whatever this is. We need to continue on with the red marking. And this is very dangerous. Ugh. Just stepping on all these rocks. I already got my feet wet. That thing is cold. That thing is freezing. Lucky we almost done this trail. This would have been a pathway right here. If it wasn't flooded like this, we would have been able to go over easier. Now we gotta do this whole detour just to get continuing on with this little red mark in here. And um, it's just deeper when you go over right here to the side. We just came off the ray trail. And it looks right into this red and green trail here. And um, I think I just made it. And I made it. With just my feet getting wet just a little bit. It could have been worse if I would have just walked in the middle of this thing. My whole thing would have been wet. But we're here back onto the red and green markings. Continuing on with the um, red markings up here. And um, we're going to continue on back jogging. We had to slow down just to cross that thing there. But let's keep going.
we'll be coming up to another set of railroad tracks here and this might be the other side that we was um checking out all the way down there before it cut off and um i see another little gate type of looking thing up here i'm gonna check that out but the red truck continues going straight so let's go over here and let's go look at this little whatever i was talking about up here whatever this is this could have been like a stop for the little train here i'm not too sure but let's take a look at it together So I guess this would have been like the stop for the train. That's what I was talking about here. It's crazy because this thing is just right on the track. What is that? No trespassing. That's probably somebody's property from the rest of this arm. I see some other signs up there. I'm gonna take a look real quick. Said no trespassing, but we should be good as long as we don't go too deep in that we can get seen anywhere. But let's take a look at these little signs that's up here so I can know more or less what, what this was, what ran through here or something. If this tells me anything, I don't think it's really gonna tell me anything, but this is a sign here I was talking about. It just kind of says Franklin Preserve, just a preserve sign, but over here, there's some cool. Stuff here with some more wood of the track so I'm gonna turn back around once I take a look at this little right here it's a little bridge here crossing this creek and you can see water right underneath there and we right on top of like a bridge this where the railroad would have ran through and just look straight down there there's water and it's very deep. I'm not too sure. It's kind of thick, so I doubt it was gonna break. I'm not too sure. I'm just taking that chance. But just right here, we just got off the bridge. And uh, we can continue on. Finish banging this thing out once we get up here. And um get back onto the red trail. So let's go back. And let's continue this thing back onto the right trail. Just walking right back on top of it. You were scared of crossing? Yeah, that does not feel safe. It does feel scary. It's very slippery it's really too. Soft. Yeah, it's slippery. But we back over here and let's get back onto these ray markings. So you just gotta go over this little fence here, whatever this is, to stop the train. And um, just up here, we can continue back on to the red markings. Once we cross over this little falling down tree here. And uh, right here to the right of me is the red trail. So let's continue with our job because we're a quarter way to get to where the parking lot's at. So let's continue this little, this little drive back to the car. can see we made it back here to the car definitely was a workout i thought it was a four and a half mile trail but it was actually a five and a half mile trail but we definitely enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed it we were here in uh, franklin um parker's preserve and um this is a nice little cool spot to come here and jog enjoy the nice little scenery all around here definitely nice little nature um nice little land here but 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please do me a favor, smash that thumb buttons up. Go hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button yet. Go turn on that notification bell. And I'm um, also go check out the website, ray254adventures.com. Go get your drip, come support the adventures and come join the family. But I'm about to wrap it up here. I'll see you guys in my next adventure. So peace guys, and I'll see you guys next time.